My name is Daniel Scott with Udaya.com, and this is Real Yogi Talk, an off-the-cuff series designed to drive the global narrative of yoga for yogis, for teachers, and especially beyond. So, today we talk about the story of the crystal pedestal and the ivory tower. There was a yoga teacher, and everyone enjoyed his stuff immensely. They thought anything that came out of his mouth, any practice that he created, any sequence, any beautiful flow that his classes had were the best. They were so amazing. They were so inspiring. Everyone who came to his classes, oh, man, they just felt so wildly charged and powerful and passionate. And without even knowing it, they started to build a pedestal so he can just be a little bit higher and reach a little bit more students, a little bit more ears, a little bit few more just ideas and, and, and then let the reach of his words expand. And as that pedestal grew and as that pedestal grew, he kept teaching and he kept sharing and more people became inspired. And it was a beautiful thing. Hundreds, thousands, maybe even millions of people enjoyed these classes, changed their lives and continued to build this pedestal. And from this high pedestal, he became so powerful without even knowing it. And all of a sudden there was this strange shift. It went from crystal pedestal and it turned into an ivory tower from which Every word of his became truth. Everything of his story people believed in, or he believed in the story that people were telling him. And as he became farther and farther away from the students and farther and farther away from the place that he started, the ground floor of his practice, he started to create distance and a difference. For as new students would come in, they, he was so far away, they couldn't access any of his stuff because he didn't seem real. He went from being human to alien. And unfortunately, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. And one day when that ivory tower got knocked down by people who just didn't care to listen anymore, there was no one left to hold. There was no one left to catch. And he had to pick himself up and start all over again, right from the beginning. Students, teachers, how high are you in your practice? Are you above the people you, are, you work with? Are you above the people in the classroom? Or are you right there with them? Are you real? Do you remember what it's like to be a beginner? Do you remember what it's like to have inconsistencies, to have inflexibilities, to have weaknesses? Are you still able to connect with the people who need the help, who want to believe the story, who need to find their own truth? Are you on a pedestal that's being built up to a tower? Or are you able to remember what it's like to stay connected with the people who were there when you first started? Are you still a student? Are you always a teacher? Are you sure you're connected to the practice that connects you to everyone else? I can't tell you the answer, but I can sure ask the question. How does that land? Inspiring, challenging, none of the above? I want to know more. In fact, I want you to know more. Take this, share this with someone else, see what they think. Let's create this narrative together. Because after all, we just need some more real yogi talk. My name is Daniel Scott, and this is Udaya.com.